Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're going over my sonic cabinets and tools. So let's jump right into it. So if you're new to the channel and you feel like commenting on how fat I am, thanks for stopping by. If you're a long time subscriber, always good to have your back. So first off, behind me is my custom array of Sonic tools and cabinets. You get to choose whatever you want, any cabinet you want, and it's just that simple. But behind me, you can see my array that I chose. Everything in the background here cost me $15,000. There are 20 different drawers and 16 of them are filled with Sonic tools. So what do I use these tools for? If you've seen, I've done new age cabinet reviews, both bold and pro, and those cabinets are fantastic. Why do I have Sonic cabinets? You see, well, the purpose of building my garage out was so I could do project builds in my garage. And I wanted a good quality set of tools that was easy to find. So when I was looking around for what tool system to buy, Sonic really stood out to me because of Obsessed Garage YouTube channel, but mainly because the organization of the tools is crazy. If you're watching this channel, I know you have lost your tools before or misplaced your tools, the tool you know you have but you can't find for the project you're working on now. And whenever I want to work on a new project, I want to be the most efficient I can be. So I decided to spend $15,000 on this array of stuff so when I work on my projects, I don't have to get frustrated trying to find the tools I need. So there are plenty of tools I bought that I don't need yet but I did buy them, so I have them when I need them. Let's go over about the pros about the Sonic tool set. Firstly, the number one thing that drew me to the Sonic tool set were the foam inserts for all the tools. That 100% was my decision for getting these tools. Next, you can always find what you need because of these foam inserts. Not only does it organize your tools, it also knows where you can put them back and where they are for the next time you need them. The third thing is the 24 hour tool exchange. I've had a couple tools break or not working from the factory. All I do is go online, submit a picture, answer some questions and they overnight me the tools. Be sure to like and subscribe because I will show you that process in a future video. Next thing is the quality. The quality of these cabinets are great. I love the thickness of the wood countertop. You can get it in stainless steel if you want, but every drawer is perfectly made, precision, and you can actually feel the quality in them. And lastly, there is a lifetime warranty on all the tools. So not only do you get that 24 hour replacement, you also backed with a lifetime warranty. Now let's talk about some cons. If you've been here from the early, early days of my channel, you'll know I had some problems installing these cabinets. You see, I have this weird ledge around my garage, a concrete ledge about 14 inches deep and about 12 inches high. And these cabinets are not supposed to be wall mounted. That brings me to the issue. They have welded on feet. I can't just mount these cabinets on that little ledge and bolt them to the wall. I actually had to get feet extensions. That to me was a pain in the tuchus figuring out how to deal with that. But luckily I figured it out. Next, which I've already mentioned is there's no wall mounting option. Of course you can drill holes in the back and mount it as you want, but they are not intended to be wall mounted. So I did not want to do that. Third, for some weird reason, the metric sockets are six point sockets and the SAE sockets are 12 point sockets. Obviously some of you guys know out there, the more points uh, in a socket, the more likely you are to strip it. Uh, so that's kind of a negative. I'm sure they'll fix it in the future. Lastly, a con, depending on your budget, is the price. These things are pricey. As I mentioned, $15,000 for all of this. Now, some of you may have a couple questions. Where are these things made? Are they made in America? Well, firstly, this is an international company, a European company. So all the designing is in the Netherlands. And depending on the tools, products are made in Italy, Germany, Denmark, and in Taiwan. Now, guys, I've been in manufacturing most of my business career. I traveled all over the world managing thousands of workers in different plants, from fabric to technology to metal, 
all over. And I must say, if you're worried about the quality, don't worry about it. Taiwan is also known for top quality products. So who do I recommend buy these tools? Well, firstly, if you are a trained mechanic and that is your trade, I definitely recommend them. Obviously, I haven't used tools as much as you guys have, but it all stands out as in great quality and that 24 hour exchange will help when your tool breaks and you need to get a new one. If you are also one of those serious at home project guys, I recommend these tools. Not only will it make your projects less frustrating, you'll be able to find everything you need when you need them. But they are pricey, so I would never get sonic cabinets for garage organization or just general storage. I would only get them for the tool organization and purposely built for project building. Now I've mentioned these products are very pricey about 50 times in this video. But if you are a student in the tech field, you can get up to $5,000 of financing and 35% off. Another great thing about Sonic is for you military guys out there, thank you for your service. You guys also get 15% off with Sonic tools. So out of the eight months of having Sonic, I highly recommend them. I love them. It makes finding tools super easy and also it helps cleaning up my garage super easy. If I open a drawer and I see a foam insert, there's something missing, I know I gotta keep looking around for that tool. There has been a time or two I actually leave tools on the car before I go driving. I look in the drawer and I say, oh, where's that tool? And I actually look around and find them before they fall off my car when I'm driving. So that's very helpful. So guys, hopefully this helps you figure out if Sonic tools are the tools for you. I really do love them. So there's a link below if you guys are interested in buying them from Obsessed Garage. Every time you buy something Sonic from Obsessed Garage, it helps my channel out a little bit. So I appreciate it. So thanks a lot for tuning in and until next time, I'll see you then.